The Walk Behind Cultivator came to us first in the form of a, of like a refurbished Planet Junior tractor. Um, and it was totally transformative. It changed everything for us. We were at that spot where I think a lot of growers are at, at least the growers that seem to be, you know, just learning about mechanical cultivation. We were in a spot where A, we didn't know anything about it. Uh, B, we were drowning in the weeds and we didn't really, you know, our only options were hand tools and hand weeding. Um, and C, we were just too small for a four wheel tractor. Like, and we knew that because we bought one and it was like, you know, it was, it was a little bit too big to turn around at the ends of the rows cause we just didn't have the space to do it. Um, it took way too long to change tools. Like we're not a farm that had, you know, an acre of one crop that needed one tool. We were a farm that had two beds of a crop that needed a tool and, and then another tool and then we needed to switch over. So that's where this, this tool, um, you know, that we learned about and realized immediately it checked that box and it fit into our category perfectly where it was like, it was this scalpel that was, it was still gonna weed as well and use the exact same tools as, uh, as, as the driving tractor, um, but it was small, it was nimble. You didn't need any, any room at the end of your rows to turn yourself around. And, um, and changing tools was like, honestly, as easy as, you know, pulling a pin and if you've ever tried to change the tool on a, on a you know an older cultivating tractor you'd see that's a whole different deal and that's okay if you need to do it once every few hours but if you need to do it once every sort of 20 minutes it becomes sort of limiting so there is a there is a pocket where a lot of us are in or have been in or on our way into where this is the tool this is the in-between tool between uh, wheel hose and hands and four-wheel cultivation um, and go ahead, yeah. I just think, I think for us, when we started to use the walk behind cultivators, it allowed us to scale up in an in increment. At the time, our farm was still kind of increasing the amount of land we were cultivating by like 50%, kind of going from the like two acres to four acres in a year. And that's a terrifying thing if you're thinking you're going to be like crawling up the rows or even hand hoeing because it costs a lot in labor. And these tools allowed us to make that change um, in a way that was feasible in, in that we could increase our size without increasing our labor so much and with a sight of still running a clean farm and not drowning in the weeds or kind of drowning in hand weeding in particular. And, and speaking to the point of, of growing, like you were saying, it was a, you know, we have grown into like the newer, like, you know, four wheel Tillmore tractor as well. Um, but this having been an intermediary step was huge for us because learning how to cultivate on a four wheel tractor, the honest truth is we didn't do it. I don't know how anybody did it. Like we tried and unless you've got a lot of space to screw up and you don't mind killing a few plants and, and you know, it, it becomes pretty hard. And if you've only got two laps to do, you're not going to learn anything before you change your tools. Whereas you get into one of these guys, you know, you're walking behind it and it's stop and go and everything that's going on is going on right at your feet. And when you want to, one of the things you need to be doing when you're cultivating all the time, whether you're on a four wheel tractor or a two wheel tractor, is you need to be getting down and checking to see whether you're killing your plants. Um, because that's how you're calibrating your machine. When you're new to it, you got to do lots of checking. And if the checking is just stop, check your plants, you can do this all the time and you learn all about these tools. If you're on a tractor, it's, it's a little bit more work and as much as you know, stepping out of a tractor seat doesn't seem like much, this makes a really big difference and it really helps you learn about the tools by the time you've maybe moved on from this or maybe you've, you're in that five acre stage and just killing it at that stage and you stay there, sure, but when you move on from this, you know what's going on underneath you. Um, and maybe this, this, these machines have become these sideline scalpels that are still working for your farm, working next to the four-wheel tractor, they will never become useless on your farm. Um, we still have three of them that run alongside the Tillmore tractor and they get used all the time. But when you do move to that four-wheel tractor, you'll have a real intimate knowledge of what those tools are doing underneath you. And the scale of this one that worked really well for us is that we were allowed to scale up with all the tooling that was maybe necessary for different crops and different totally. times in cultivation. And 
for our size and scale at the time from like one to two acres, two to four acres, um, it was an affordable purchase for the farm. And again, we, we stayed nimble, we could still move it, but we started with basket weeders, finger weeders, we've got sweep, so you've got in row and in between row, um, and all of it is a package that transfers between one and two or as in our case, three little walk behinds, but it worked really well and was kind of key to letting us move forward on that way. So, because there's not much point in getting like you, you need to have a few tools. You can start with one, it's going to make it that much better, but in reality, you need to have an in row tool and a between row tool at the very least. My opinion is you need two of each that are a little bit different, but with this tool, it's not so big, it's still a bit of money, and of course, that's a big, a big investment, but. It's a lot more reasonable to be able to get into a whole bunch of tools behind this than it is under a four-wheel tractor to start, um, at least get a taste of it. And it's fun. I think the point that we were trying to get across yesterday that relates to that, that I think is really important, is a happier crew and a happier us. And making this gig a fun gig is what, you know, that pays back in dividends because yeah. that makes people pick peas faster um, and everything yeah. else. And the vegetables grow bigger. Yeah, and have less, you know, have less disease. Like that's not getting a fungal problem. It's just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I, and even in our carrots too. Like we hesitated on spacing out our carrots, but we ended up um, like. But there's no way we'd ever tighten them up again. I think if we were to do anything, we'd be like deciding to take up more space and spread them out and do two rows on a bed instead of three because that it just it kind of pays off. And again, but the payoff to being like a positive working environment and when you dedicate so much of your time to the job a certain amount of the payoff like there's the dollar factor but you're not doing this if you're not actually like enjoying the other reality to it which is like living with growing plants and seeing them be healthy and succeed and that's a large payoff um, and the these tools for us definitely made that a um, reality much more easy than yeah, yeah talking about it from like a like a negative like the like talking about like the gains from the other angle is like you often don't know what problems you have until you take them away and that was definitely something that happened here we knew i had a problem too much hand weeding we took that away but we also took away small inconsistent vegetable size we took away like losing crops every now and again to the weeds we took away like crew dragging their feet because the next job wasn't a good job um or just, you know, people just burning out or just getting tired. Working in a messy space just kills you, right? Like that's uh, working in a nice yeah. tidy spot with straight green lines is, you know, a pat on your back every time you look out at it. So there's a lot of gains to be realized that you might not even realize are there.